First of all, this one is new. This is the Salsa Verde flavored corn tortilla chips. It's gluten free. And as you guys can see, it's already been um, devoured in the car ride home uh, from Antonio, myself, and then uh, Danielle. This was so good. It's a little bit spicy, a little bit salty, I think, but still so flavorful. So I got two, uh, two bags of those. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put those away. All right, so now let's start off with my total. I paid $98.07 uh, for all of these, which I think is very reasonable um, since it's a mixture of, of so much stuff um, in here. So let me go ahead and start off with my frozen stuff. I will make a bag of this uh, for the kids for dinner while I'm up upstairs working. So easy, they eat it over hot rice and then uh, sprinkle sriracha on top of it and then i do like to cook it a bit crunchy though before i put the sauce in so i do like to make sure that the um, the chicken is cooked nice and crispy and then just leave it uh the stove on for like low heat because it's already hot and then put in the sauce that i've already soaked into like a hot water so it's nice and warm and then um, drizzle it and then let it cook just for about a minute and then super good okay so i got two bags of those Everything I noticed at Trader Joe's as well as any other stores, the prices has gone up, uh, but still very affordable. Hubby and Danielle, for some reason, love these. This is the mac and cheese bowl. <laughs> I haven't tasted one, but it's a must. So Danielle grabbed three of them, and apparently they're like last batches because you guys can tell. <laughs> but that's their favorite. This one is new for me to try. This is the vanilla buttercream frosting mix. I usually just make my own frosting, but um, the girls might bake something since Danielle is already home from college for winter break. Uh, so she might bake something for, um, for the other kids. So I figured this would be easier for her. It just calls for two sticks of butter and then milk and that's it. So nice. And then I bought myself a pie crust because I don't I do not make my own crust <laughs> at all even though it's so easy because Trader Joe's crust is just so flaky and just so delicious and so easy to do so there's two of them in here and I still have um, a bag of frozen uh, blueberries when we went uh, picking for blueberries I usually just every time we go uh, blueberry picking I wash it really well I soak it with water and a little bit of vinegar uh, let all the impurities kind of float up and then I rinse it a few times and then I dry it on a cookie sheet with paper towels so that it's nice and dry. And then put it into my fridge um, underneath the, uh, the vegetable bins so then it can get cold. And when I put it into the bag, the Ziploc freezer bags, it will not stick together because they've already been dried. Okay, so I have two bags, I think two bags of that still. So then I can make pies for Christmas. Okay. And then I did not want to go to Costco because usually Costco is where I get my bananas. But Danica packs a banana every single day for school for her snack. So I got a couple of bananas. And then the other frozen stuff that Danielle picked out is um, this one. This one is her go-to. I got cilantro, fresh cilantro, because I will be making um, this one for dinner. So this one is just going to be the, I like the multicolored because it's fun for the kids but just with uh th um not thousand island uh italian dressing this one with tomatoes and then i still have fresh basil and then cook it with that and then sprinkle it with the cilantro on top or i can even add a little bit of the zucchini in there as well uh for their for their dinner okay so got that and then like i said the zucchini it's one of my staples over at trader joe's i grow these during the summer so during the summer, I tend not to buy them, but um, other times throughout the year, I will buy them over at uh, Trader Joe's. This is like $3 for a pack of one, two, three, four. I can saute it in butter uh, just as is, boil a little bit of pasta. Again, add some like dressing. This one's good too. The Caesar dressing, just a little bit of that with just pasta, tomatoes, cilantro. It's good, okay? Um, then I also get my organic black beans over there trader joe's this one i use with my chili but i will also just drain this with some tomatoes if i had tomatoes 
corn that's uh not the canned corn i like to do like grilled corn and then the next day i'll take out the kernels and then add it into my um black beans tomato and then slices of avocado and then again either this dressing or the italian dressing just drizzle that a little bit so good okay this one i was also planning on adding on to um pasta so just this pasta and um and italian dressing okay i got my cream cheese of course the kids love cookie butter i also use this as a filling for my macarons speaking of fillings for my uh, macarons i will be baking some for the holidays and then they still had some of this one the pineapple fruits uh spread i bought this during the summer so good perfect for macaron fillings uh perfect for if you're making like holiday cookies as a, those sandwich cookies, the fillings for that, that works really well as well. And then also if you're doing like cutout cookies, um, if you're going to eat it right away, um, especially just for the families, not storing it and giving it to friends because then it, it gets sticky. But this one I just put on top of that as well and then um, serve it to the, the family. Okay, this one, cheesy seasoning blend. They love to put this onto their popcorn. And then also for this, sprinkle on top of the pasta. That works good as well. And then this one is new. This is a new item, salmon rub. I uh, figured that we're always getting salmon for Danica. She loves salmon. So just, I usually get like the big slab over at Costco. I will cut it, uh, divide it in three because I get the big one. Divide it in three and then pre-season it. Wash it, pre-season it, put it in a freezer bag and then... Um, when I'm ready to cook it, I just defrost it into the refrigerator and then just cook it. And then it's already seasoned up into that bag. So I want to try this out. And then hubby loves this Carolina gold barbecue sauce. He uses this for dipping as well as for marinating his uh, barbecue. Okay. And then this one, this was the last one, but look how flat it is. But I was looking at the expiration. It's still good. 6 23 So I just think it's... It got smashed during packaging or something, but it's still good. All right. And then hubby sometimes um, asks for like green tea to kind of clear, clean his system after like a heavy meal. So then um, I got this one, the organic sencha tea, Japanese green tea for him. So I wanted to try that out. But I got this for me every year. I have to have this candy cane green tea decaffeinated. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I love it. Perfect for the holiday. And then holiday um, candy cane JoJo's dark chocolate bar. This was, I think, $1.99, but uh, great for stocking stuffers or um, gifts uh, for, like, for the kids. Okay, I got sweet chili sauce because Lola made lumpia for uh, Danny's um, event, banquet. And so I'm going to put this along there, the sweet chili sweet chili sauce okay i like to buy it at um trader joe's compared to buying it at the like the asian market because the asian market has like big bottles and i don't like to keep it in the fridge this one is basically almost like a one-time use spaghetti sauce hubby's chili pepper sauce from trader joe's he loves spicy sauce okay i think i got everything here and then for the holiday like i said i was able to grab the jojo's dark chocolate bar but look what they had they have a candy cane with a cocoa cream filled center so it's a giant candy cane so apparently there's cocoa cream inside of it so they can dip it into their warm milk maybe maybe that's how they do it but i bought four for the kids for christmas morning i usually put these into like their stocking stuffer okay they only have three left so I'll put this into their stocking stuffer. Um, or Dan, oh, you know what? No, that's why. Yeah, they only had three left, but I was okay with it because Danica doesn't eat this. But uh, the big kids will have that onto their stocking. And then this one is a gift. Danielle bought this for me. I paid for it, but she bought it for me. Um, I said, you know, that's all I want from the kids is just like very simple gifts. I don't ask for elaborate gifts. But this is the dark chocolate orange flavored with other natural flavors. Break apart segment so she got me one and then um, Antonio is a uh, gluten-free and dairy-free but he can have like dark chocolate so he she got one for him as well and then I got this one for Danielle this is the 
is it hyaluronic moisture boost serum uh dermatologist formulated subtle for all uh, for all skin types um she gets dry skin um she gets eczema during the winter and so that's why i also got her this one i do have this one i use this for myself i like it for the around the eyes supreme uh hydrating eye cream so i got her one so to take back to uh college and then macaroni spaghetti for the spaghetti sauce and then i also still have the the meatballs from trader joe's uh last visit so the kids can easily cook that um cook up the um, the meatballs add sauce boil that good to go and then i also bought a um milk chocolate pound and then this one is a dark chocolate uh, from trader joe's and then our favorite popcorn from Trader Joe's is the sour sour cream and onion corn pops for our movie night. I got that for myself and hubby. And then this one, we bought two of them. Okay. This one is for Danica's teacher along with a gift card. And then this is for Danica's bus driver along with a gift card. So I'll get like a $20 gift card from um, probably Starbucks because Starbucks is easy. Um, everybody seems to drink coffee or hot chocolate or, you know, like a fruity drink. So it's, it's safe to buy that for someone that you don't know what they want. And then attach this one with a card saying, thank you. The bus driver has done so much stuff for us with Danica. One time she forgot her backpack into the bus and the bus driver basically was an empty bus, but turned around to drop it off here. So that was really nice. And then, um, for the teacher of, I always give a uh, teacher gifts. Uh, I go elaborate on for Christmas for them. So this is going to, usually it's like a box. I think I showed you guys last last year or two years ago of uh, Danica's teacher box. So I bought a big box from Joann's and I filled it up with all the scentsy stuff that I had. So she really loved that. But um, this is an addition to whatever else I get. I think I'm gonna get ornaments as well for them like a specialty ornament because when I went to Joann's they had all those ornaments so for 70% off and they were nice glass looking and huge so that'd be a nice gift all right friends but that is my Trader Joe's haul so I have not done these with you in a while thank you guys for visiting me with a simply simple life as you guys know my channel I've been so busy my life is always chaotic but I appreciate you guys stopping by always all right mahalo friends